everyone. Today I'm going to do the end of the year book tag, which I haven't actually been tagged by anyone to do, but I saw it over on Peru's Project's channel, Reagan at Peru's Project, and I thought it seemed really fun and so I'm just going to do it anyway. <laughs> I thought this tag would be a really good way to reflect on my reading year and to discuss some books with you that I really want to get around to before the end of the year still. And so I'll link Reagan's video down below so you can go and check that out and I'll also link the original video down there as well which was made by Ariel Bassett. So the first question in this tag is, are there any books you've started this year that you need to finish? So for this question I actually have a perfect answer and that is Everyman's Pocket Classics Collection of Christmas Stories. So the title of this book is actually quite self-explanatory, it's just a collection of short stories that are all about Christmas by lots of different famous authors. So there's a lot of work in here by authors you'll have heard of, including Dickens, Leo Tolstoy, I think there's also a short story by Vladimir Nabokov, and that's really interesting to me because I've read quite a lot of work from these authors before, and so seeing short stories by them is kind of something new. I started reading this quite recently and I want to read it over November and December, so just the time running up till Christmas, and so obviously I want to get this done before the end of the year. If not, then I guess I'll just have to put it on hold till next Christmas. The second question is, do you have an autumnal book to transition you into the end of the year? I've actually already finished this book, but I think the book that did this for me perfectly was The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. This was a wonderful book, I really enjoyed it, and it did the job of transitioning me into winter perfectly. It's kind of like a magical fictional novel that is based on Russian fairy tales. So it tells the story of a girl who lives in northern Russia in a village on the outskirts of some wilderness. And this girl has always been able to see demons while other people couldn't see them, and she's always suspected that there was more in the fairy tales that her nanny used to read her when she was younger than other people think there are. This novel was full of magic and storytelling and I thought it was so fun and because it's set in northern Russia as well the landscape is very cold and snowy and it was just the perfect read to get me in the mood for winter. The third question is, is there a new release that you're still waiting for? So there are definitely still some books that I'm anticipating, I'm always looking forward to new releases. One of them is Mean by Miriam Gerber, which I believe is a debut memoir that tells the story of the author as she grows up as a queer and mixed race girl in Northern America. I've not read many memoirs before and that's something that I'm really wanting to get into reading more, so I'm really attracted to it for that reason. But also it just sounds like a perspective that I've never really read from before, which is really interesting to me. Also, Goodreads tells me that this is a confident, funny, brassy book that takes the cost of sexual assault, racism, misogyny and homophobia deadly seriously, which just sounds so interesting and like it's tackling some really brilliant topics, so I'm really looking forward to that one. I'm also really looking forward to Future Home of the Living God by Louise Erdrich, which isn't out yet. I actually don't think it comes out till early January, so maybe this shouldn't really be an answer to this question, but I've seen some people reviewing it already and it sounds really interesting. I believe this is some kind of dystopian novel where evolution is turning backwards and so when women conceive babies they are kind of born as primitive human beings. I don't know much more than that, but that sounds fascinating, and I'm really enjoying dystopian novels at the moment, so hopefully I'll be able to get around to that as soon as it comes out. The fourth question is, what are three books that you want to get around to reading before the end of the year? So one that I definitely want to get around to really soon is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Elias Sayens. I talked about this in my last video, I've read this novel before, I love it, it's a 5 out of 5 star read for me when I read it a couple of years ago. It's a YA book about two friends, Aristotle and Dante, and ever since I've read it the first time I've really wanted to get around to reading it again, and talking about it in my last video saying that I wanted to get around to it has really spurred me on and I'm really in the mood to read this, so I'm definitely going to pick this one up soon. Another book that I really want to get around to, and I'm sure I will, is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, the Jim K illustrated edition. So this came out a couple of months ago and I bought it straight away, it's actually at home at the moment, um, and the past couple of years when the other two books have come out I bought them straight away and I always read them over Christmas and so I'm going to continue that tradition and when I go home for Christmas this year I'm going to get around to this one and I'm so so excited. <laughs> I don't really have another specific book that I want to get around to before the end of the year, but I do know that I'm going to be getting some poetry books from my mum for Christmas, and so I'm really in the mood to read poetry at the moment, so as soon as I get those I'll probably just read one of those. The fifth question is, is there a book that you think could still shock you and become your favourite book of the year? For this, the honest answer is no, and that is all because of Sarah Winman's Tin Man. <laughs> I read this book a couple of months ago and it became an instant favourite and I've not read a book in so long that kind of had the same effect on me as soon as I read it. It's a literary fiction novel that tells the story of two men, Ellis and Michael, one half is told from the point of view of Ellis and one half is told from the point of view of Michael and it just discusses them and their friendship and their lives and it's so emotional and so beautiful and I really don't think anything's going to top it for a while. 
And the final question is, have you already started making reading plans for 2018? So of course I have. Like I said earlier, I'm hopefully getting quite a few poetry books for Christmas and that's something that I'm really wanting to read more of. So I'll hopefully be getting around to quite a bit more poetry than I did this year. Also, there are a lot of new exciting literary fiction novels coming out in the new year, as well as the two books that I mentioned earlier. So I'm really excited to see what's coming out for that. The Costa shortlist has just been announced and so I'm excited to look into those books and I'll probably work my way through some of those. But also there are just a few classics that I haven't got around to reading yet and I want to read a few more of those. So those include things like Sense and Sensibility and maybe The Catcher in the Rye because I've never read either of those yet. And finally, my boyfriend's going to be so happy that I'm saying this, I really want to get around to reading Dune by Frank Herbert. So this is a classic sci-fi novel that my boyfriend bought me about a year ago and ever since he bought me it he's been bugging me to read it because I really want to get into reading more sci-fi and so I'm finally going to get around to it next year, I promise. <laughs> So that was my end of the year book tag. I'd be really interested to know if there's something in particular that you want to get around to before the year's up, so please let me know in the comments below. Also please do this tag if you want to do it. You don't necessarily have to be tagged to answer the questions, I mean I wasn't, but if you want to do it, I tag you, go ahead and do it, I'd really like to know your answers. So that's all for this video, I'll see you soon with a new one. Bye.